Hey guys, welcome back. So I thought I'd turn the camera on real quick for this teardown of this Subaru EX30 engine. This is the one that came on the home light that had thrown a rod and punched a hole in the side of the block, which I find surprising. These engines are very well built, I'd say among some of the best, and I've never picked one up that required any kind of engine work aside from the carburetor. So I've never had one of these apart. I'm kind of curious to see what makes it tick. And in this case, what caused it to fail? I've already drained the oil. There was plenty of oil and no clues as far as the oil color goes. And the throttle, it's not stuck. So I'm not really sure what happened to this one, but let me get set up a little bit better. We'll start tearing this thing down and see if we can't find any clues.
This is a really unique setup. Most generator engines just use push rods and more traditional valve setups. This one actually uses an overhead cam with a timing chain and this unique setup here. It's very similar actually to the Honda EU2000. That engine had a very similar cam and valve setup. The big difference on this one is that the head is removable. Instead of a rubber belt, this one is chain driven and the cam on the Honda was plastic. This one is all metal. And just like the Honda, it looks like the shaft for the cam is removable. Once I get this bolt out of the way, the shaft should slide out. That will allow this cam to kind of drop in and then I can remove the chain. Going to put these parts back where they were since this head most likely is good and reusable. I forgot one. It's running a little bit lean, but looks like the head and the valves survived.
Yeah. There's a lot of aluminum transfer on that crankshaft. Usually you see that when an engine runs out of oil, but this one, it didn't run out. It had plenty of oil in it and it was used oil. It's not like someone put it in there after the fact. It was running with oil in it. And I think just to back up my idea, the piston, it's in very good shape. If this had run out of oil, you'd see a lot of scoring on the skirts and I'm not seeing that. So this piston survived just fine and I think is actually usable. And the cylinder equally looks decent and usable, but you know, the bottom end, it's a mess. Obviously the connecting rod blue and there's governor parts everywhere in the sump. So it's kind of a chicken or an egg. Which one happened first? I don't know, but the thing that makes sense to me is that the governor let go, the engine raced out of control, and then caused the connecting rod to blow. And I would say that is most likely what happened here. You know why it let go? I don't know, but it is really the only plastic part on this engine. I realize I never showed you the window that was made when the connecting rod let go. Anyway, I wouldn't say it's unrepairable. You could get creative with some JB Weld and patch that up. Really, you just need to seal the hole off and keep the oil inside the engine. Obviously, you need a new connecting rod, a clean journal, and you'd be back in business. But, you know, I sell these engines to people on generators, and they usually use them after a storm and need something reliable. And that I wouldn't feel good about. Plus, these Subaru parts, they are very expensive, and I use them all the time. I've never looked up what the price is on a piston or the head, but I'm willing to bet those two items alone are well over $200. And these parts over here, I've used a bunch of these parts in the past, and I know that they're expensive. The airbox alone is 100 bucks. OEM Makuni Carb, 120 and these other items are just as expensive, if not more. So I don't have many Subaru parts because, well, this is the first engine I've picked up that had a fatal problem. So I'm going to keep these parts. You know, I thought it'd be fun just to turn the camera on, tear this engine apart and try to figure out what went wrong and just learn a little bit about how this engine is made. And for the most part, it's a very well-made engine, except for... Maybe the one plastic part, which in this case, I would say is the cause of this engine's failure. So I hope this video helps someone. Thanks for watching.